uh, like we were talking about uh, before we went live, um, kind of interesting team composition both sides. Snyla, kind of a classic recon player. Uh, Nevermore, one of the top support, one of the top supports. I think he almost exclusively plays support. Uh, and Far Commander, more of an assault player. So we got this balanced team composition on there too. Um, on on Sandro, we've got Afro, who's kind of the all-rounder. I've seen him play all the classes. I'm seeing him play them Man, all like well. Everyone like now joining now. in. We're live with the new constellation of Crystalline Afro and Sightless, aka Enron, as a substitute player. Let's get some rolling here. I'm gonna have to duck out, so I wish both teams well and uh, good luck to the to the winner. Thank you for being with us so far, and we'll catch you around in game, Fart Commander. Yep. Fart Commander? Yeah, brain fart there. <laughs> That's Wally. Yeah, I was about to say, what has gone wrong there? Fart Commander's in the team. Brain fart. Uh, Car right. on the brain. So, as a constellation of both teams having one recon, one assault, and support, everything is fairly balanced. Um, Never so more... seems a bit more confident this time. I mean, they're still playing passively, but they're not. Like camping and spawning like they did before. Well, of course, they have three fully functional players without issues. Cypher's only having the ping of the US on his side, which Fart Commander suffers from as well. NSF starting this was getting the first blood here. Afro taking Nevermore down. And Fart Commander as well, and this is where the great chaining up one kill after another starts. Snala being on his own inside of the server room. And he's pretty hurt, so he can't really rush out and try to kill him. Indeed. Uh, I wish I could already tell you the password, but Rain is not talking to me. I've got it. I'm back oh. Alright, alright. Just making sure. Snala heading to basement now, probably trying to get closer to the ghost. Or just trying to flank. And for those of you just joining us, this is the active Neo Tokyo players 3 vs 3 final featuring Team Su uh, vs Sandro Diplomacy 4. Is that actually why they put DC in there? Yeah, that's the that's the full acronym. Oh my god. I have my never top secret into sources that. tell me so. Which is to say I just ask Afro once. Jinrai, Jinrai the round. The second round here, which ties it out, so they're pretty much catching up fairly well. Afro now in higher spirits, so that's pretty nice. For everyone who just is seeing this match instead of all the other here's matches an interesting, before this. Oh, here's an interesting start. All all players on Team Desu bartering their weapons, so now Snyla the Recon with an MX. Very fast rush through the fence with all that MX fire. fire. Nevermore ended up with Snyla's Silence Jate, so he's probably going a little less firepower for him, but he'll probably be relying on support health to prevail in the firefight. And Fart Commander ending up with an M41. For everybody tuning in for the first time, if you've been playing this game casually on any pub server, you will see this is way different from what you've been experiencing when you've been playing yourself. Part of as... that is, yeah, as a Pardon? pub player, part of that I think is is um, the veteran mentality, like you're a little more cautious sometimes. But I think part of that is also enforced in the three versus three format. Uh, you just got to take things slower because losing one member of your team uh, means losing a third of your fire. Grenade out misses Afro narrowly. Also, ties do count as a round passing by, with a total of 13 rounds to play. So, if a team has an advantage of one or two rounds, it adds up to their win, basically. 
entire so. Sandro team covered the entrance to that server room. Oh, but they did not suspect Fort Commander approaching for the sky bridge. Takes out Afro from the cubby hole. Snyla advancing through the fence while their attention is occupied with Fort Commander. Enron takes it down. Snyla sprays a bird in their direction, gives his position away. Taken out by Crystalline. Nevermore on his own. Maximum health. Lots of armor. Unfortunately, but small fire. Uh, he traded his Jate. He traded uh, to Snyla for a Jate to give Snyla the Asian firepower. Unfortunately, his prime concealment method, the smoke, will be countered too by Sightless's thermal vision. Even though the Jitte kind of catches up with the damage the set our carabine is able to perform, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue if he can True, take yeah. down Enron before he takes down Crystalline while Enron is giving back uh, support fire in this case. I will see if. If Nevermore can get a good angle here, he might be able to take them out because they're both on okay, the oh. health. Enron sees him, takes a few hits, trades some damage, mostly in Nevermore's favor. Has an angle, long range battle from atop of Skybridge. Crystalline staying put, doesn't want to give himself away. Will he attempt to flank? Oh, it's a flank! Oh! Oh, too late. It could have been a tie. Time over, with two Jinrai operators remaining, just as the time ran out. Having two recons now in Jinrai team, they're going to spice things up by seemingly rushing ahead a little. Afro already on the side where NSF is supposed to hawk their spot, trying to probably capture the ghost if he has room. Taking down Far Commander here. Sightless ambush. Going through Skybridge, Nevermore being close to him. Seemingly already aware of them trying to get over there. Snala switching sides up, being on the N uh, Jinrai side in this case. Hoping for somebody to go back through the hangar to take him out. Sandra is staying very close together, trying to concentrate their firepower. They have probably guessed rightly. Oh, that Silas down, running into their the amp they set in Skybridge. They probably guessed rightly that Far Commander is the only assault, so they don't quite fear a frag grenade toss. Nevermore being on his own in the spawn, flanked by yeah. Afro. Flanked by all three. Jinrai taking the lead, 4-2. to two. Sandra's just been very dominant this entire tournament, quite confident. Well, I'm pretty sure the spirits are way boosted now, after having the third player fill in the spot, also being able to play and not just stand around due to connection issues. Yeah. They're having gun trading issues at Jinrai, the gun's colliding mid-air for three times now. Thankfully made it in time before the round started. Believe it or not, a few seconds are pretty vital as a recon in this case. Snala having issues climbing the fence. In competitive, sometimes the difference of a few seconds at that round start can really change whether or not you get to a choke point before an opponent. Not Afro on the case. On Tarmac, already sighting somebody. Yep. In this case, never more. more. On lower tarmac. That traded MX allows him to take out that support despite his vastly higher health. Snala on his tail looking into basement. If it's gonna help, who knows. Afro going back to his own side, going back up. Probably heading for Skybridge if ever. Far Commander Sent drops right. down, scavenges uh, the dropped MX silence from Nevermore's corpse. Afro now on Skybridge as I expected, looking down while Enron is doing the job of covering the lower part. Crystalline, close to Enron in this case, looking the base entrance. Yeah, it looks like both they are getting Crystalline and Sightless to cover the bottom part and just provide a base of fire while Afro scouts oh. around. 
Snyla jumping past Afra while Afra was checking the stairs instead of Skybridge. Now in the spawn of Jinrai. This might be pretty interesting. Snyla's in their back corner, setting a debt. Not sure what it's supposed to achieve. It dropped down into the spawn without any impact. He's trying to create, I believe he's trying to create a diversion. Nobody is moving. Oh, it's not like going for it. Probably not being able to make it because Afro is going to get caught by Afro. Mark your mana coming out, running into Crystalline, who hawked the entrance the whole round in this case. Now, 5 to 2 for Jinrai. It's going to be pretty tough if they want to catch up, but we know how the game plays. Once you have momentum, only stopping it is the only way to win. Part of that momentum is in the ranks too. Afro and Crystalline are now at Sergeant. Uh, this opens up the regular ZR Carbine for the recon. So let's is this really off. three supports in NSF, including wow. Snyla and Fart Commander? The two Here's players really that unconventional are setup. usually playing recon are now going into the total opposite. Got a cop team going here. Oh man! Switch around, Afro. trades Afro for Nevermore. Being obliterated by the support troop. NSF comes out ahead, killing both Afro and Crystalline while losing only Nevermore. Now That's being two supports two... against one, but yeah. Fort Commander is sitting at a very low amount of health. Between them, they've got 99 health uh, to Sightless's 100. Unfortunately, Sightless seems to have traded earlier for uh, uh, Jitte, so he's actually sitting in the same spot that Nevermore was earlier. Uh, sitting on support health, uh, but with a much weaker fire, uh, primary weapon. Fart Commander moving up the ghost onto the lower tarmac, but Enron already on the case. Trying to intercept them at the stairs here. Looks like he's not having much of a chance, taking down Snyla though to 19. 26 versus a total of 26. Takes Losing out the fart commander, commander peeks out around the corner. Snyla now being stuck in the basement with the ghost alone against Sightless. Having more firepower than him, but less health. I don't think it's gonna really matter in this case. Both of them are at the point where, you know, a single good shot or a good couple of shots. Oh, and Sightless, Sightless actually managed down. to take him out. Another win for Jinrai, even though very close, giving the first lieutenant in this case, Afro. We'll see if he's going to take the infamous SRS for this map. Or if he's going to stick with recon. Up, oh, he's being a recon. Spawning in with a shotgun. Count. Recon, yeah, but no sh yeah, with the Super 7. It's Very now going back to hands. his old ways being a recon, whereas Fart Commander remains a support. It's gonna I'm be not sure if I, I like this choice. Um, with the Super 7, yeah, Afro becomes a lot more dangerous. Illustrating there as he takes down Far Commander. Uh, Crystalline rough. takes down Nevermore while distracted by Afro destroying his teammate, leaving Snyla alone. Snyla having switched the sides, now being in Jinrai spawn, not sure what he's trying to achieve. Dodging the smoke cloud here. I'm pretty sure he so didn't expect the smoke to happen right where he is at. Afro being in the hangar probably is aware of Snyla being somewhere up high. That was caught Afro, fuel in the hangar, jumping recon. Crystalline. Oh, that saving was Crystalline, Afro my bad. No, Afro and Crystalline were, both were there. They oh, basically the switch eyes. That's it. Having Very game, fast. 7 to 2. That was quite dominating fast. streak. Absolutely dominating streak by Sandra Diplomacy Corps. Uh, they've gone, I think, completely undefeated in this tournament. Uh, my hat's off to them. And with this, we have good game. the yeah, winner, good winner game. of the tournament, which is the undefeated Sandur Sanjuro DC. Quite amazing. And I guess Snyder's pretty sad about this.
I'm pretty I mean, sure yeah. he is. We might actually need to switch channels to hit up with him now. And I bet he's going to blame it on uh, Enron subbing in. <laughs> <laughs> I will call them in and ask them if they want to join. We can Do go we to the main channel. In... Alright, we want to go to main channel? Yeah. Good, I'm going to call them in and i catch up with you in a minute. See you. Hello. Hello. Oh, man. How do you feel? Hello. A bit thrashed. Yeah. <laughs> and a little confused. But uh, yeah, I guess good game. It was def as difficult as I anticipated it to be. Yep. And a lot less straightforward as well. Called them over. Afro and I, I heard Afro, Crystalline and Sightless singing in the channel below us in happiness, singing the safety <laughs> dance uh, <laughs> as I came in. Good game, by the way. Well played. Uh, <laughs> that was, I, think uh, that, I think that makes you completely undefeated, Sandro Diplomacy Corps. Yep. Wow. In your nice. entire tournament run. Pretty much. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats. It was just. I was just saying that match was as tough as I anticipated it to be, but not quite as straightforward as I thought it would be. I love how in the last match, or uh, in the last round, you, you Afro actually went with the recon shotgun. That was pretty interesting. Recon shotgun across roof, mind you. Yeah, Afro is devastating <laughs> with the shotgun. Did you manage to get like two kills in before you got killed? I mean, that basically signed the round off right there. I didn't get killed the last round. Oh, you didn't get kills? No, oh. no, none of us did. He no. got me good. <laughs> yeah. I think so Crystal got the guy feel? on Tarmac, and the, like, other, the last guy. So how does it feel being break wall in the tournament everybody just ran into? Break wall, nice. <laughs> yeah, Sanjiro DC being the brick wall that's indestructible in this case. More like concrete wall. Mm. Break or concrete, you, you decide on that one. Most importantly, yeah. undestroyed. Speaking of concrete walls, Mumble just crashed, but here I am. Alright, so, so yeah, it was kind of sad about the way it started. It would have been interesting if we had a 2v3, to be honest, but we graciously got to get a replacement. Yeah, I didn't... You didn't want to lose a 2v3? Is that it? No, it was just <laughs> that, but I didn't want to play <sighs> another fire. 2 versus... I didn't want to play... A an undermatched, underplayed match. You want the, the match honor. Against, the match against Adam. Soft was was awkward and it was really just confusing to play and disorientating. Well, out of curiosity, if it would have ended up with a two v three, would have you gone back to decide to have a two v two instead? That's what I've been no. wondering. No, no, because the Soft match was a two vs two. It was a two vs three. And I think three is three versus three is like the minimum Neo Tokyo can handle without you wandering around an empty map with thirty seconds to go most of the time. Fair enough. Yeah, I think five v five tournament would be nice. We yeah. We're talking about some scrims, uh, tactical Tuesday Pick stuff. Ups. Yep. Snyla, how do you, how do you think the sub uh, affected your did it, did it affect your strategy at all? Like having Andron instead of a Spader. Um. Did you have a strategy? We didn't really have much of a strategy, no. <laughs> Called it. Oh, oh dear. We haven't done for the past six matches that we've won. But uh, what was disorientating in the first match in which Nini joined was just the straight up spawn camp. Like I'm, I'm glad that it didn't become a common occurrence, but that that round really shook me off. Yeah, we did it to even out the scores, so we played from a 2-2, because that felt fair. Or... <laughs> I think I even said it in-game. Did you just fucking call me Nini? Then we... Yeah, Ninron, you know? Nini the mercenary. Oh, well thanks. But Terry, that's my grave. I think I'm <laughs> subbed in Don't you... You're a homosexual mercenary, matches. that's about it. Yeah, he subbed our semifinals as well, actually, but for I'm Crystal. a very big sub. Yeah. Well, I'm Listen, subbing for everything. I think you, you enjoy <laughs> it. Is, deserve is... either a cup or a t-shirt, and one. I would be fine with a mercenary medal. Yeah, alright. I don't know who the fuck that would be. I'll he make you a t-shirt. 
He at least deserves a handle of one of your mugs, doesn't he, Afro? Yeah. <laughs> I'll chip it a bit and send it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of t-shirts, are you excited to get these badass TGR Fuel t-shirts now? I, I assume that Afro is going with the mugs. If the, as I've said, if the mugs are in black, if I can get one in black, then I'm getting it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a t-shirt. Oh, man. Yeah, I've, you'll, I've... End up, you'll end up just breaking it like all your other t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that... I'm going to end yes. up breaking the mug like all my other mugs as or well. Or so do it, it like snob. Clenching them. Oh no, let's not talk like about snob. that. No, let's, no. Mess up let's own not shirt. talk about that. There are probably children watching. <laughs> Alright, well how is that? So, so going back children to the match, I, yeah, let's digress. Going back to the match, I'm actually kind of curious about that, um, that round with where you all decided to take support. That almost worked out for you. I actually, that was the strat we had. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> fuck it, we'll have a wild card, we'll go all support for one round and see what happens. And it started out like really promising, and it just all kind of went downhill. When you come up against an actual support player? <laughs> no, when, <laughs> when, that, that this is, is going to sound Sightless. real fucking bitchy, but you learn something new every day when the Jeet scope outdoes the MX like that. I, but I oh, came out, you didn't know that? <laughs> I came out of the basement on full health and let off a like a full burst into Enron, who was at the top of the stairs. He wasn't really even leaning either. He walked out, he peeked out. And I put a full magazine, and when Fart went down, I was like, alright, okay. I'm st I've still got a decent 25, 30 HP, and he's using a G scoped. So I just pushed out and was aiming down the sights, saw him jump down, let loose another burst, and I saw the tracers just go fucking around him, and I just <laughs> I gave up the and fight. And dispersion. That's, gave up, yeah. yeah, I gave That's up the fight just I after the first three So rounds. me and Crystal did like, what, 93 no. damage, 75 damage, and 70-ish damage to you guys at the start? Yeah, the, you, you got um, Nevermore and Fart pretty I hard. I was, lead, I was leading the charge, so by the time I'd got to the top of the stairs, you guys were already in the briefing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel things might have for been... a long time. Jitta is really overpowered. Oh yeah, it's fucking accurate as shit, so it can outdo the MX well. at that range. I mean, Best being better than the MX doesn't make it accurate as shit. It's still pretty spray. Well, it's more accurate than the MX. It's I'm gonna preach it right now. Weapons. Make the G-scoped burst fire and, and remove the recoil for the MPN, and then you've got a perfect <laughs> dynamic. No, Listen, seriously. The, be such the game a great is dynamic. dead, and Action Zero DC killed it. I don't think we should talk anymore about what to make with the second one. I'm just one. saying, to Agile... <laughs> no, no, I'm with you I on the MPN I won't bring thing. that up. I Listen. want the old MPN back, which didn't have any fucking recoil. Yeah, it's, it's... So now the tournament's over, any, anything you've learned, anything you picked up, new stuff, maybe from the 3 versus 3 format? I just want to say, actually, to like, there have been a few players watching who haven't kept track of the tournament and maybe anticipated something greater for the final, but we lost our first match, did um, my team, and I promised my team that we'd get out of their loser's bracket as soon as we lost. I was so gutted about that loss against Stealth. And I think to have played a match against the winners, the overall winners of the uh, tournament, a final match against us from the losers bracket, I think I at least achieved that. And I'm I'm kind of happy. Didn't go down in the blazing ball of glory that I thought I would. It was kind of a wipe, but I've I've actually looking back on the tournament, all of a sudden in hindsight, it was pretty good for my team at least. Yeah, definitely. We had good plays all around. At least you get stickies, guys. I think you did good. <laughs> Flipping over to after any comments from the winning team? I don't know, is there some some secret to your success, some secret to your victory? Uh not not really. Teamwork <laughs> and good players, I think. Pretty much we have we did practice the earlier matches. Uh, with actual developed strategies and names for areas. Not this one, but most of the previous ones. In terms and that of the seemed to help up, a lot. In terms of the matchup, the random number god was looking kindly on your team. Really? Uh, yeah, definitely. As soon as the results came out, your team was cited as one of the strongest, and people put you down for a winner. Because this was when Spader was a new player, but incredibly strong. This is um, an interesting map. Oh man, this map. Should have yeah. been the final one here. But yeah, your team was a really great matchup. There were teams out there, I'm not saying there weren't teams who could have gone against you and come out on top. But also, you didn't get matched up against these teams really, which could have done better.
I mean, I'm surprised I got as far as I did against the likes of Soft. If he had his team together, he might have had a chance of the final. Yeah. I, uh, we I'm are just... still live, right? Like, yeah, yeah. The... Listen, okay. before we go, I've got to give a shout out to Mixo out there. You know who you are. Thanks for watching. That's about it, really. All right. Who is that? It's a real life friend. He uh, tuned uh, in and watched. I told him that we were playing. Nice. Get him to play in tea. Yeah. We could do with all the play. Actually, no, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Every player counts, much. I guess. He's apparently chastising me for being a bit of a cunt. So I'm just going to say deal with it. Well, yeah. We also know Immortal that. Immortal words, the winning team, deal with it. Yeah, pretty much. Someone has to lose, right? Uh, yeah, fucking Rain. So... Some insight there from Rain. I just wanted to turn back to the, the history of the tournament. I think this started back in, what, 2013? Yeah, it's been an <laughs> administration fucking nightmare. Oh, I think. It's been so long I can't actually recall the exact yeah. date. So, Was it 2012 or 2013? Uh, 2011, I think. It's kind of been chugging along slowly but steadily, though. Um, whose idea was it, actually? It was mine and Rain's. Oh, this, and... Was, this was back when the game was like had its brief surge of popularity with the update. And essentially, me and Rain thought, we've got all these players. We need a way to keep them interested, to keep them playing, considering we've been playing with the same 30 players for the past God knows months beforehand. And so we figured an open tournament, for, and anyone could sign up. And we got 90 applicants, 30 teams. What the fuck is this map? 30 teams, and then it all kind of steadily went downhill as the player base that we initially got from the update dwindled, and only about a quarter of the uh, participants in the tournament actually stayed around. So it right. became an administration nightmare for me and Rain. Uh, anything you learned, particularly from this tournament? Something Fucking you loads! Try differently? <laughs> I couldn't even begin to list the stuff that I've learned. Uh, but I don't trust more, more to meaningful... come to his match? More probably significantly is it was kind of naive to think that you can run a tournament with pretty much every player possible within a community. I mean, other games don't really have to deal with this that you hear of having tournaments because they have their defined pros. But with Neo Tokyo with being such a small game, it's it's hard not to include everyone. You kind of feel like you should, but it doesn't always work out. So one thing here. Is, uh, do we have the stream watching the game still? Yeah, yeah I think so. 30 viewers. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm gonna just do something I've been waiting for for quite a while. Oh no. There we go. Away Ooh. with the team tag, finally. Wow. I've been waiting for that for I don't know how fucking long. Oh, rid of Sandro, the... DT, Afro, no more. Just Afro uh, now. That is nice. That is nice to see. Yep. So unaccustomed to seeing you without that tag. Yeah, people have started calling me Sandro, and by that point I realized <laughs> it was about time to get rid of it. Nice of you to join us, Vader. <laughs> My condolences about internet issues. Moving in is always kind of finicky business. Spader! We're glad you're at least here, though. In digital presence, if not digital play. So sad. It was the only round that was stable from the time I joined the server to like disconnecting was the round before it went live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we oh, that's we just tapped in everyone during that round and started playing for keeps because we didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and mm. it felt kind of good with Spader actually playing and then we realized that it wasn't live. Oh, yeah. that's a bit sad. Um, presumes. I think the part of the delay was, I think. You were kind of changing location, like just moving house. Yes. And okay, so I'm I'm guessing the internet connection still got some troubleshooting to do about the connection. Well, I'm in a, I'm location. in a shared house at the moment, so there's the guy and his wife, and then there's I think maybe two or three other people in the house at the moment. So who knows how many devices are connected to the wireless? Right. Right. And what they're exactly being used for? Optimal setup. No, I mean the thing is, most most evenings I have tried to play, like in the past week, I've, I've played three evenings maybe, and there were no problems. Mm. Yeah. It's a real shame that it happened tonight. I'd have 
<laughs> but we couldn't reschedule. <laughs> I couldn't face the reschedule. I'd have probably just thrown my hands up in the air and went, right, tournament cancelled. Just no more, no winners. <laughs> Me and Rain take the money and run. <laughs> How many viewers did you get? We got about 30 or 45, so. I think, uh, at most. But yeah. I, 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 I have a feeling most maybe more will probably catch the replay. Yeah, we'll have to cut out the pause though. But yeah, it's, it's I think quite an interesting tournament just for like how international the character has been. I think on uh, Sandro, I think Afro, you're from Sweden. Yep. Uh, and then your other team members, I think Spader's from the UK. Scotland. Uh, Scotland. Im important <laughs> distinction. Important yeah. distinction, right. Um, yeah, try make a distinction for Spader. <laughs> Vote yes. <laughs> That way uh, we don't have Spader anymore. And I think Crystalline was from Portugal, but a fluent English speaker, so I don't think communication was ever a huge issue uh, no, between all the team Portuguese individuals seem to have a very good grasp on English, I've noticed, and they don't seem to have many noticeable accents. Right. Which is kind oh, of weird. The Twitch TV thing's like a beautiful little sunburst with a... Is it a, a salt with Desu versus Sanjuro DC written on it? It's beautiful. Oh Who yeah, Rain, Rain made that. I love cool. it. I want it as a picture. <laughs> but well, uh, every toss is grenades in the spawn. And that's I think lame. on the team Desu, uh, Snyla, you're from the UK. Yeah. Uh, Nevermore, I'm sure where he's Germany. Yep. Yeah. Right, and uh, Fart Commander is uh, American player. Yep. Yeah, US. The only US in this in this uh, tournament match. So yeah, that's Apart actually something I. Yeah, something I've noticed is you know, that really international character to the uh, NT community. Yeah, it's mostly consisting of uh, European and North American players and a tragically small Australian player base. Because <laughs> Aussies are never on. No, it's a shame. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if there was ever anything. I think they I think have there, was up. there was one up. I don't know if it's still up any though. I recall there being an Australian one. But so, question to Rain and Snyla: Any any thoughts for future scrims, future tournament brackets? I, I hear talk possibly about a five versus five setup. Yeah, um, feel free to organize that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think feel free to organize with actual match deadlines. It's probably and not match time guidelines like we had it. It's probably a good start. Yeah, although. And with that, if we actually properly enforced deadlines, then we probably would have only played like three matches in the entire tournament. Sure, but we could have had like five tournaments. That's true. Wrecked. Oh, 12 versus really. 12 tournament. Yeah, let's go. With the, the entry player base as it is now, it should be possible. I think there have also been suggestions 12. to the Active Neo Tokyo players uh, discussion boards about maybe not necessarily a long-running tournament with a big bracket, but maybe short monthlies, like just organized scrims per month. Yeah, something it, of the sort. Kind of started out a bit ago, but it people sort of lost interest, and they were once again really difficult to organize. As well as like some people, no, I'm gonna name names, but they know who they are, leaving mid scrim and stuff. And it's it wasn't, it didn't quite have the gravitas to like push it forward it wasn't just like a casual 5v5 we wanted to make this like a repetitive like using tournament guidelines once a week proper like kerfuffle <laughs> but it didn't really take off all right so just uh one final question um chances are we probably got some new players watching or some new players that probably will check out uh later any advice for them from either the winning team uh, or the losing team. Get good. Don't Get it. good. Generally important. Uh, go fast, pretty much. Best advice ever. Recall also, best Also, change your CL underscore interp to like 0 0.5 or 1, <laughs> and then no one can oh hit you. God. Just oh ask God. Nice. Please don't what do this. Comes. Don't don't get your server. Don't really let your server. Can we edit this out here. on the fly somehow? Come on, Nash, you really quick. <laughs> don't, well, forget, uh, yeah, don't do this. Just... Don't do this, kids. If you do, your server admin will shout at you. <laughs> I think everyone will, to be honest. 
Mm. Yep. Really, just read the fucking guides, I guess, is a good start. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, ask and then questions. Map practice. People tend not to be cunts. Also, Mixer, if you're listening, you need to start playing this so I can destroy you a bit. Speaking of the stream, I'm, I'm up, about to shut uh, this one down and open up my own. Uh, well, with my own account. Put your face your own views. Put your face right. um, So, maybe. We'll just How leave, uh, we'll just leave uh, those it. final questions at that then. Advice for new players get good and go fast. Yeah. Yep. That and also, yeah, visit yeah, Agile's Patreon page and donate <laughs> some money. <laughs> get good net. It's gonna wear a low cut top if you do. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Agile has a Patreon page. No, he doesn't. I bet he has. He doesn't. I'm Agile. <laughs> The the silence I think is very telling right here. <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty then. Well, you have any last so words for tuning in? And we gotta see. Arigato, what will my ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And most importantly, Oregano. <laughs> I bet you had some Oregano for this yeah, round. Yeah, most most importantly, Mega. Now that you're here, what? Put that fucking gag back in your mouth. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, no. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully we'll have another tournament. See you in the game. Enjoy, and see you in the game. Bye.